All right, in this video, we're gonna go over editing pictures within Avid Media Composer, uh, specifically how we uh, fix pictures for air, and I'll show you how to add the soft background and then also how to add some movement to those photos. So we're gonna start out with this mugshot right here, and you can tell how you know he's the bottom half of the screen, We've got a, a whole bunch of headroom. Um, it is 16 by nine, so there's two ways that we can fix this picture. The first one is the easiest one, so what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and put an in point, out point. We're just going to lay about 10 seconds of video down here in our timeline. Uh, and we're going to take, go up to blend and pull the picture and picture effect onto our clip. You'll see it um, made it 50%. We'll go up here. Uh, down here, if it's not highlighted, you hit the effect mode to turn on the effect mode. Go up here to scaling. I'm going to bring that back to about let's say 113 and then we'll use position and we're going to what we're really doing is we're just going to zoom in and we're going to center him on the screen so you can drag or you can click in there and use your little arrow keys so there we go he's centered that looks a little bit better um, and then the next thing we're going to do is here within this line right here we're going to add keyframes so we're going to add a keyframe at the beginning we're going to add a keyframe at the end. And then if we want to slow zoom in on the second keyframe with the highlighted pink, make sure that only one is highlighted, not both. Go up to scaling. We're just going to click on it. And with our little arrow key, key on the keyboard, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, let's say 20. We went in 20. Uh, it's a 10, 10 second move. And then if we play the video, you'll notice a slow zoom in right here on the picture. So that's one way. The other thing we can do is if we go back and let's just go ahead and hit our uh, remove effect and we go back to the way we were. So that's one way. The second way is you actually lay this video twice. So we're going to lay it on channel one, lay it on channel two, we're going to move this little icon down here so we're only seeing channel one. Again, the picture in picture. Scale it up, but this time scale it all the way. And center them up. Center them up just a little bit. And we're going to move them, drag right about there. Now, down here with the effect highlighted the way it is in the effect mode, we're going to double click on that first clip and you'll see it adds a sub clip of the first track. It's a sub clip. That's how we add a second effect. So we're going to go up here to the effect palette and we're going to go to image and we'll gra grab the blur effect and we're going to drag that onto the sub clip. Now in the sub clip, then we're going to go back up here to effect editor. And if it isn't highlighted, you'll hit this little effect mode to get it highlighted. Go up to Effect Editor. We're going to select the Rectangular tool. We're going to go over here to the Sequence window, or Program window. We're just going to drag a box all the way across, and then we'll move it just slightly. And now we have a blurred effect on that image. You can go over here, and you can kind of adjust it the way you want. But because we're putting a picture over top, I want it to stay pretty well blurred. I go back here to the video one line and we double click to remove the sub clip. So now we have an effect within an effect. We're going to take this little icon here, this little uh, image icon, move it up. And now we're seeing line two above line one. So in line two, what we want to do is go back up here again to blend. And we'll do picture in picture again. Drag it on top and you'll see it did this. Now what we're going to do is over here in the effect editor is go to crop. We're going to crop it in slightly to kind of just fix it. We want it to be just about like that. Then we're going to scale and move it to center it. Center it up. Kind of like that. Okay, so now we have picture in picture. It's over top of blurred image. Now there's a couple of things you can do here um, depending on how you want it to look. 
under border, you can go with one, two, and then you can even change the color. You gotta double click that really fast. And then we can change it, let's say red, because that's kind of our, and you have to change up here as well to red. And we changed it to red. Then just like before, we put a keyframe at the beginning, a keyframe at the end, and at the end we can do using scaling, we scale up and we zoom in on the image. And it does a slow zoom with a blurred background effect. And that works pretty good. But the thing I like to do is we're going to get rid of those effects real quick. So let's get it back. Control Z undoes what you just did. Okay. I'm going to undo all of those. There we go. We did undid all the keyframes. Get rid of this. Okay. So now instead of the width, I'm going to bring that back to zero. We get it back to the original. I'm going to move the softness all the way over and see how it feathered the edges. And then I'm going to scale it up like this. So it's about 156. Now I'm going to put my keyframes in, one here, the other here. Go to scaling, and I'm really going to move it in. Maybe as I'm moving it in, we're also going to keep him centered, so maybe it moves up a little. And then we scale back in again. And when we play it, we have a feathered image over a blurred background, and it's zooming in. So that's a couple of ways you can use a mugshot. Um, now let's go to a different picture. Let's say we're not using it. Let's delete all this. And let's go find a different picture. So uh, we have a, it says pick some guy's picture. We can use this one because he's off center. So let's use this. So we'll lay this picture. We'll lay 10 seconds of this picture or however long it is you want. I don't want to do the full 30 because it just takes longer to render out. And we're going to lay that image again on channel 2. And we move back down to view channel 1. So here's your viewer, view channel 1. Blend, picture in picture. Drag it down the first one. Zoom it all the way in. And if you want, what you can do is you can even like click and drag this, like this. But notice when you drag it, it creates a keyframe. When you're dragging for motion like that, um, you just want to make sure that once you get it positioned, you come down here and you hit delete and you delete that keyframe. So that looks good. Now double click, we get our sub clip, go back to image, blur effect, drag blur effect on, and again up the effect editor, we go with the rectangular tool. Just going to drag and then move it a little bit so that it covers everything up. Double click to get rid of your sub clip. Now we move up the viewer to two because we're going to edit line two. And again, we're going to use blend picture in picture. And then the same way as before, we are going to crop it. Get the black out of there. You can crop them about right there. The bottom doesn't need to be that big. And then we're going to scale. And I can drag it. And again, you see the keyframe. So when you're done dragging, you got to get rid of that keyframe. Put a keyframe at the beginning, a keyframe at the end. And let's say we want this one to zoom out. So you go, you can leave it here because that's where you want it to end. Go to your first keyframe instead of the end and zoom in. Notice how it gets a little off center, so we want to drag it and just get it straight. And then if we play this, the image zooms out instead of zooming in. And that's how we do our pictures. Let's do one more. So get rid of this. And let's see if we can find another picture. What then? Picture. Um, that's fine. We use this baby picture. So again, we're going to lay down 
just 10 seconds or 11 seconds. And we're gonna lay it again on channel two. Go back to channel one, make sure the viewer's down. Blend, picture in picture, zoom it in. S double click to get your sub clip. Image, blur effect. Go to the effect editor, rectangular tool, drag and blur it. Double click to get rid of the sub clip. Move up to two. Now this one we're going to be, do something just a little bit different. We're going to make, um, instead of just that regular picture in picture, we're going to use a different effect. We're going to go to blend and we're going to do 3D warp. And so this is going to make the picture move a little bit differently. So with 3D warp, I'm going to drag that on the top layer. And you notice it didn't do anything. So what I'm going to do is in the effect editor, the first thing I'm going to do is go find crop. You'll notice there is a whole lot of extra effects when you use uh, when you use the 3D tool, 3D warp. So we're going to crop the left. Too much. Just get the black out. Crop the right. Again, just trying to get the black out. Okay, looks pretty good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to border. As soon as I find it, border. We're going to soften it just a little bit to feather that image. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is go to rotation. And we're just going to move it back just one, just a little bit for each one. X as well. We're going to go forward to plus one. And Y, we're going to go maybe plus two. And this is where we want the image to end. So, oh, and one other thing, we want to go down here and we're going to put a drop shadow. So shadow, when you turn that on, look how it's just a big shadow. We don't want it that big, so we're going to move it. We just want a slight shadow. And it's hard to tell down here, but you can see the distance in the corner here it tells you how far it's dropping. But we just want that slight shadow. So now we've got a picture in picture, essentially, with a drop shadow, feathered edges. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and put a keyframe at the beginning and a keyframe at the end. We're going to go back to the first keyframe and highlight it. And what we're going to do is this. We're going to go to scaling. We're going to back it up just a little bit. And then we're going to go to rotation. We'll go ahead and rotate it a little bit. Go to the second to the x-axis and rotate it a little bit. The y-axis and rotate it a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to recenter. I'm going to drag that up just a little bit. And now this is what the image looks like. It's a little slow, so what I'm going to do is click the effect editor, go to the end here, and I'm just going to zoom that in just a little bit. So one, two, three. And then I'm going to go back and watch it again, the whole thing. We play it, and notice how it's got a rotation and a slow zoom in, and it has the drop shadow, and it's just a little, it's a different effect. So that's essentially how we edit photos and media composer here at News 9. If you have any questions, please come see me. Thank you.